Hey everyone, Steger here and welcome back to Hunterville. In today's episode we're going to be working on more of the downtown and along here I'm just placing some shorter buildings around where the central park will be when we finally get around to building it which I don't know when that'll be. Um, anyways here I'm just putting these other buildings kind of on top of the older looking building on the corner and um, my thoughts on this were that around the central park area there's a limit on the building heights so like the facades of them can only be so tall to fit with some regulation that the city has put on building heights and things and to take advantage of that um, some developers built these modern buildings that are kind of half over top of the other building but also capture the view of the uh, central park while still being relatively close to them and here i'm just putting down more buildings and uh, this is kind of along one of the main roads or it will eventually serve as the main road when i actually get around to building around uh, building out a lot more of the city and it will probably go to some highway interchange somewhere off kind of on the edge of the downtown or something i haven't really worked out where the highways will go yet but I'm just using a whole lot of different buildings here. And I was also using the painter mod to change all the colours of those buildings to orange as you would have seen me do before. And just kind of mixing in different building heights and things like I was in the last episode. So that like there's been some development here but they've also kept some of the older buildings because they haven't really seen a need to upgrade them. And here I'm just putting a nice big glass building I can't remember what this one's called but I think it's based off a real life one in like Chicago or somewhere and just th this one's actually vanilla this uh, one that I'm placing down and changing the colors of now anyways changing the subject uh, my method for doing these blocks is kind of to go through and place down a lot of buildings around it and then just fill in the space and then add the details like af after I've built the majority of each block like you can see here that I've put the parking lot road in and now just trying to like fill up the space with some other buildings and using the um, building anarchy I think uh, yeah building anarchy rather than procedural objects to just kind of adjust the height of those so that they fit it those are uh, little kind of I don't know what you call them they're like kind of concrete 70s sort of buildings or something and yeah I just adjusted the height of them to kind of fit in with the surroundings and soon I'll cover them up with some like grass and planters and things and bushes and just yeah just putting the curb network in I uh, yeah I'm using the curb network here so and just covering it up with these little bushes by Padelmo I think and then just moving over to the other side and making like a little alleyway that goes right down into the uh, little like roller door at the end at the back of that building and just also trying to like cover up this pedestrian crossing because it didn't really make much sense for it being here and I think I just used procedural objects there to try and kind of angle the um, flat surface a bit so that it would kind of sit on top of the sloped kind of road because uh, that alleyway is kind of at the same level as the ground whereas the regular roads are just a tiny bit below the ground and here I was trying to do another thing by putting a building in between like on top of some others as well putting a more modern building on it it probably should be the around the other way because now you've got like a blank wall looking at the park Actually, to uh, clarify about what I was saying before about using procedural objects on that uh, crossing, I didn't actually use them. I just, I just went back and watched the um, uh, time lapse before recording this part of the audio. But anyway, now I'm just moving on to the next block and uh, kind of using a variety of buildings. I'm also using some more kind of European style buildings. This is mainly because, like in New Zealand, you actually see a fair bit of European architecture in the, like the ma main parts of some of our larger cities like Wellington or Auckland and I also just went through here and was doing like all the landmarkings because I got a mod that disables all those so I need to go through and do them manually because sometimes I find that like 
the way that the game does it automatically isn't that great because sometimes it just picks that like cars are going to turn all the time or if it like if it's one one lane you don't really need to tell people that they can go in all three directions because they kind of just intuitively think that but yeah anyway that, that's why I'm doing that and I also kind of adjusted the corner of that road to be more curved rather than having like a sharp corner because I imagine that before any highways were built in Hunterville then that might have been like the main road through the city to kind of connect between one way that goes out and across the river with the way that goes up the hillside and um here is the bit that I named this video off of the yeah odd one out because it's a really brutalist building and doesn't really fit in with anything around it but I really kind of wanted that here because here in New Zealand or at least at my university there is some really brutalist architecture I'll put up a photo of one of the buildings now that I think really kind of looks this building reminds me of anyway and you can see the uh, like how the top of the building kind of sticks out above all the rest and it's kind of hard to compare with the building that I've placed in this city because it's not really on screen and I skip forward a little bit in the time lapse and it doesn't show up for a bit but I think the building that I placed down is actually based off one in Russia somewhere I don't remember the specifics of it and don't really have it written down anywhere to reference but I'm pretty sure it's based off a Russian building the model that I've placed in this city and is a lot taller and kind of a bit different to the one that you've seen at my university that I just showed and here I'm doing a parking lot and remembering to put in the disabled parking for those that need it and also um, made this big parking lot I was referring to the small one because I didn't even really notice that I'd made that big one but I made put down a big parking lot because it's kind of something that I haven't really put in the city yet in the downtown anyways and just uh, doing another one of these underground parking lot entrances too and again using the rusty car because I don't, didn't really have any other car props or not that I could remember the names of at this point so just kind of using that for reference and just putting down the concrete walls as well so that people can't like walk over the side accidentally and also procedural objects for the uh, edge of it because you can't really get that with regular props and things or not not ones that I have installed anyways so I'm just using procedural objects to get get it how I want it and um, so I've also put the map up on the workshop I actually did this like a few hours after episode one came out because someone on reddit asked me to and I decided that I would I mean I, I was planning on it anyway but I just hadn't got around to it at like the first minute that I uploaded the first video but it's out on the workshop now and I'll, if I remember to I'll leave a link in the description and it's ba basically got a whole lot of information there about what you'll need because there's a whole lot of custom trees and uh, I think that's about it I tried to avoid using mass transit roads anyways so hopefully if you do want to download that then that's not an issue for you and here I was just kind of trying to address this height difference even though it doesn't really look like anything's really going on it's like two steps so not much but it's still something that I needed to address so I just put the steps in and putting in some planters those trees there were a bit too big so I decided not to use them and I've also got that other building off to the top uh, right of the or left of the screen now I kept m moving around and didn't realize the cut was coming but I've, I've got that one that's quite tall as well it's one of the taller buildings in the downtown at the moment and just doing more things with bushes and things to try and fill up the empty space I was still having trouble with the uh, snapping so I kind of had to tw fiddle around with things until I got things right and here I'm just covering up the um, kind of intersection with some decals and things I'm not really sure how interesting this part of it is because I like do this in pretty much every episode because there's always parts that I do this in so let me know whether you guys think that's interesting or whether it just gets boring and whether I should just cut it out completely and um, here I was just kind of filling in more space with like a little uh, 
sort of pathway with some trees and things. Just keeping it green in a place that really isn't because yeah it really isn't in the downtown to be honest there's a lot of concrete and not really any greenery i mean once we get the central park in it'll be a different story because that'll be like right in the center of town and just basically make things look completely different from how they look now but in what i've been building today and in the last episode i haven't really been too generous on the, how many trees i've put in and here i was just putting some like buildings in and like this arcade thing I think some of these buildings I convert to procedural objects off camera like after I recorded this because I was having trouble with uh, road connections and things so I just went through and uh, like essentially got the procedural objects version of them and put it like right in place of the building and just deleted the building itself using move it and I don't think I changed the colours on those so it wasn't really too much of an issue and just adding some detailing around here like some chairs and things so that you know people people can sit down and enjoy themselves look at the traffic going by or something and another parking lot because in this episode I was really feeling like we needed some in the downtown because otherwise I would have completely forgotten about it at some point and I wasn't really sure what to do with this narrow bit so I just put down like that dominoes and a modern building and this modern building as well and then I think I'm about to use some buildings from University City Content Creator Pack and just kind of putting them together and trying to get the heights right or something so that they all line up nicely and look good I guess considering the space that I had wasn't really that generous and I think somewhere around here, or it might be after this, yeah, here I'm building another underground parking lot. Because, yeah, I was, I was really trying to push myself with these and just try a few different things. Like this one kind of spirals down, more or less, even though the corners are a bit kind of squared off. But I mean, that, that's the limitations of the game, really, and just trying to get the slopes to look okay and get the heights right, too. As you'd see me use the roller there and just going around with the concrete walls again just to like stop people going over the side or something and um okay while we're talking about uh, while we're working on this um so the city in general i want to kind of reach 80,000 people on i'm not sure how realistic this is i've never really done a project like this before so i i, I think we should be okay i mean i've been averaging about 300 props per episode which really isn't that much I mean at that rate to get to 60,000 it'd take like 200 episodes or something if my maths is correct so ho hopefully that won't be a problem but I mean 80,000 does sound like quite a lot when I say it and we are currently on like 100 or something I mean that, that's mainly because I've been focusing on offices and commercial and stuff rather than uh, residential but we uh, don't really work on residential for a while. I mean, I've, I'm up to recording episode 7 now because I'm not going to have my computer for a while and kind of need to get ahead. And, um, uh, yeah, we don't have any suburbs yet. I'm ho hoping to do some soon. I mean, I spent some time in the weekend in the asset editor just kind of adding details to various houses and things I mean I'm not not really very like good with the asset editor I guess I mean I haven't really ever detailed houses before so it was a first for me and I'm not really sure how great the houses look now that I think about it but I mean it's some something that I can improve on between now and whenever I decide to record episode 8 which I'm hoping will be a suburb thing but that'll Sometime around then will be the first one, and that is not for a long time, so enjoy with the next few episodes, which are kind of more industrial stuff, close to the downtown. I'm willing to tell you that much, but I don't really want to tell you any much more. So uh, let's get back to what's going on on the screen then. I'm placing down these chairs around this like area in between where the road turns around to go down to that parking lot, and I just placed a couple of trees in there too. I think I used the Young Linden Trees by Mr. Mason. 
I don't really like using a lot of big trees because they just look really out of scale with everything else going on sometimes. I mean, I was thinking the other day that maybe I could go into the asset editor and just scale them down, it, which might be an option and might work, but it, yeah, I'm not sure at this stage whether I'll do that or not. Anyways, here I was just putting in a little a kind of staircase thing to this doorway because I was, I was trying to consider everything going on around here. I mean, you can still see the uh, concrete bits from where the building's like raised up above the terrain, but let, let's just forget that as it's like a minor thing in comparison to everything else. And I also put like another tall building in there, which I, I don't know, the, at some angles the textures on that building look really strange, but on others they look okay. And here I was doing to, trying to do another height difference thing with the raised up bit this time and have the staircase go down the side of this building and then just connect it up. I think I spend a little bit of time trying to get the wall around here to look kind of right because I've kind of, I think I had it sloping down or maybe I didn't. And then just doing other things as well to try and get it to look right. Um, there was one other thing I wanted to talk about today while we're still in the time lapse, and that was that the uh, downtown isn't just going to be this, there's going to be more to it, but it's probably the main part's going to stretch out to the river where like people would want to build for views, like between the river and the central park will probably be the main part, and right now we've kind of been building from the train station, which would it have been just a convenient place to put it in terms of where the rail railroad was going at the time and i imagine that you know the city maybe didn't necessarily start out by the river it just started around that central square and kind of grew out pretty quickly towards the river and you'll probably i'll probably use some like older grid layouts in that area but that won't get worked on for ages anyways so uh Back to what I'm doing on screen again, I'm pl placing down my like, planters and things in front of this like the back of this arcade thing where the entrance is to it and just some larger bushes and trees and things and doing some more detailing, oh no I'm placing down a building and I think one of these buildings, uh, I think it's the one that I place in this spot that I'm actually trying to do, I changed the colour of it a bit at some point to uh, just kind of make it look a bit different than what it initially did. I mean, it's a vanilla building, so you kind of have to work with what you're given. But uh, I think we're almost approaching the end of the episode, so if you've enjoyed it, then you can leave a like, and if you really want to help out my channel, you can share this video with others. And if you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.